Yeah. We're back again at the geysers and about to walk past this big one here. That's Castle Geyser. Has small, we love this area. It has little small pools that keep erupting. I mean, it's not spectacular eruption, but it's pretty interesting. Yeah, Castle Geyser is highly irregular and like, the most recent estimate was for it to go off at like three in the morning, so yeah, that wasn't happening. But um, there's a lot of activity over this way, besides the large geysers. There are also bubbling pools, there's a lot of steam everywhere, there's some noise from some of these, but some of them are just plain weird. <laughs> What do you think, Sherry? That was so beautiful, John. I'm so glad we took this trip. I mean, the beauty here in Yellowstone is just amazing. I haven't seen anything like it. And we're only a few days in, so get back in. Let's go see some more. Let's go. So this is Black Dragon's Cauldron. It came into existence in 1948, blowing trees by roots, and it kind of changed this entire forested hillside over here. It's called the Demon of the Black Woods because of the color. It's like this really dark, yucky color. And I gotta tell you, it really, really stinks. He's getting ready to walk over here. Ma. I'm yielding. Okay, he stopped. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I feel like the longer you stay in here, the worse it is. Yeah, right, let's, go. let's go. He's fine. If you guys want to go down the stairs, this is your last chance. Oh. See? Well, look, the bison got so close that the ranger decided that he had to shut down that boardwalk. So, <laughs> and then did you hear the growl? I did hear the growl. He growled. Yes, he did. I've never heard a bison growl. Okay. If that's the first low growl, I don't want to hear the loud growl and what happens after that. So, <laughs> I'm good with leaving and I'm glad the ranger came. Yes. Regardless, of, oh, look at that. It's so pretty. <laughs> You're so easily distracted. <laughs> this, viewers, is proof that we all have ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> we probably do. What am I going to do? I'm not going in reverse. What's that noise? That's him clopping along the road. It is. No, isn't it? Mm -mm. It isn't. It's him. It's, a, it's the ranger's car trying to urge him off. Uh, do we need to back up? No, we can't. He's not going to go into the car. He's going to either go in the woods or around us. I'm going to put the window up here. Yep. Here's a video of this. <laughs> Yay. So we're going to Artist Point. We're now in Canyon Village. Yep. And we're headed to Artist Point. And I'm really excited about what we're going to see. Yeah, this is considered the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Look at this. <laughs> That's Whoa. a drop. This is great. All right, my son is taking pictures of one-year-old trees. <laughs> yes, he is. If you're new to our channel and you haven't had the opportunity to meet him, my son really <laughs> enjoys plant life. Yes. <laughs> you just left me and didn't say a word. Well, you were taking pictures. We didn't want to disturb you. I was you. taking one picture. 
I'm about to stop playing late for you, sweetie. Well, why don't you look over there and see? Oh! oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna miss it. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see this, but. If you come to Yellowstone, make sure you traumatize a mosquito. You know, that is one thing I've noticed about here. The oh, mosquitoes, tons. they're nothing like home. They are vicious, <laughs> they are numerous, they're numerous, and they attack in large groups. <laughs> there are literally thousands of them, and they are rather large. They're very big, and they seem to breed in the lake because you will find clouds of them down there. Yeah, it's pretty crazy with these mosquitoes. I had one attack me and I, I flipped it off and like my, it looked like I had a huge cut and it was like blood coming out of me. Uh, actually, that blood might have already been in the mosquito. Yeah, that's, 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 that's probably, probably what it was. That's more disgusting and gross. <laughs> because I killed one last night and it made a, a red spot on the door. Wonderful. All right, we've just gone up the steps and there's even more to see it here. This place, the beauty here is just, if you can make it here just once, I cannot, there is no way we can show you on camera <laughs> how beautiful this is. We'll show you, but. <laughs> camera doesn't work to show exactly what this is like. I am so glad we took the time to come here. Come on. I put it on my backpack. I have no bear spray. I have bear spray. Yeah? What bear is going to be on a clip? <laughs> clip you bears? Know when you can see a bear. Did we saw, we saw late bears. No, it could we be a clip not, bear. No, we did not see any of that. <laughs> we only saw we hill bears. We, we only saw it. hill bears. <laughs> No cliff bears, no mountain bears, no lake bears, no water bears, ocean bears. bears. <laughs> and I want to keep it that way. <laughs> Sky bears. <laughs> Wowzers. That's a drop. See, and you can hike all different ways here. There's a trail that goes all the way up and along that side over there. And then we have another trail that'll take you right up to, you see where the waterfall is, is occurring right over there. There's some folks there. And then there's another trail that's just right below us. So tons and tons of options depending on where you want to hike and how you want to go to see this Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. It is very nice. This is impressive. It's inspiring. It is. Oh, I like so. <laughs> so we have a lot more to do today. Yep. We want to get to Inspiration Point. And we want to get to Lamar yes. Valley. And I don't think we're going to hike Mount Washburn today. It's getting rainy. It's going to rain. So I think we're going to skip that one. Yeah, and then perhaps. Just maybe take a ride on Beartooth Highway. Yeah. Here it's beautiful. Maybe it's even nice in the rain. We'll see. So we took a shortcut and we actually drove, rather than taking the trail, up to Inspiration Point because it's going to rain today. We wanted to try to get as much into our day today, which is our last full day, before we leave Yellowstone and head down to the Grand Tetons. So here we are at Inspiration Point with just breathtaking views of the canyon and the river here at the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Take a look. This is what goes on postcards, folks. So gorgeous, so beautiful, just completely breathtaking. Almost as breathtaking as John back there. <laughs> this is another part of the Inspiration Point Overlook. Let's see what these views are like.
Today is our last day at Yellowstone, and I've got to tell you, I have had such a fantastic time here. So many great sights. If you get the chance, you've got to come to Yellowstone. And what better way to end this than to have a breakfast picnic with friends at your campsite. So we've invited some of the friends that we're traveling with, and we're gonna have a great breakfast here. So let's go and do this. Right. So we're having breakfast need. with friends this morning. And look at this, I don't even have to cook. This is the best. Jim, you are awesome. You are awesome. Thank you. I'm sorry, John. <laughs> you, you, I'm sorry. You got a long way to go, man. I guess you can. Everybody say hello. I'm thinking. <laughs> it's cold and rainy, so everybody's inside this morning. Oh, it's nice and toasty. I'm gonna pass you guys this. Can I do this? Do you guys mind? And if you guys could just say the one thing that you really liked about Yellowstone, or camping at Yellowstone. Do you mind? I have to think, oh, I have to think for a while. I have to think. Okay. Can't do it right I'm going to start with you. Oh. Um, Imperial <laughs> Geyser, mainly because it made you scared. Okay, you can take this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Okay, I get it. Thanks a lot. Okay, you can each take this and pass it around. Here, take this. Oh, okay. Just pass it around. <laughs> okay, yeah. here you I'm go. I'm prepared for this. Uh, I like the animals. Animals are cool. Okay. <laughs> Probably going to uh, Lamar Valley and seeing all the different animals like the bison. We saw a coyote. That was pretty cool. I, I need to think. I need to think. Um, I don't know. I love seeing the bears and the bear cubs. <laughs> Bears and bear cubs, but I think the best thing was the dinner at the Yellow or at the Old Faithful Inn, and having breakfast in this amazing place right now today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, with a nice cozy fireplace. There you go. <laughs> Me? Yes. Yeah. That's a microphone. Okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, I don't know. The whole the whole thing has been quite the experience. It's this place is so surreal. There's no other no place replicating it. Um, the geysers up front. The first night we saw one of the biggest geysers. It was a terrible downpour, but um, <laughs> but it, but it was worth the experience and um, and. Um, yeah, something that that's hard to replicate. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I really like seeing all the hot springs and how um, there are so many different kinds and they form all different colors and shapes based on like the the kind of geology and type of rock and minerals. Next. I'm passing. Ah. <laughs> there is no passing. What do you like the most? <laughs> Here, take a break. You're gonna make me choose something? Yeah. You know I'm terrible at choosing things. Why are you making me choose things? I I really don't know though. It's the same thing like when people ask me how a movie was, I'm like, I don't know, it was a movie. <laughs> Also, like the video or it will be cold and rainy where you are for the next week. And I have to say, my favorite thing was just being able to spend time with everybody that's here in this room. Thank you guys so much. And thank you, Connie, for all the planning and all the work that you did and you put into this for us. Thank you so much. I love this place.